Hey readers, boys, I have a big question for you. Why is it so important to learn history? Well, Max, I think that's a great question. History is important on a personal level because it helps us understand where we came from and why we are the way we are. Yeah, I would agree. And history has always been one of my favorite subjects because it can teach us how to improve in the future. I like that. You know, I started thinking about history because of our powerful book of the week. It's a memoir about a survivor of one of the biggest atrocities in human history. Let's get started. Wow, that was powerful. Yeah, really powerful. Our book of the week is Ellie, My True Story of the Holocaust, written by Holocaust survivor Ellie Berkowitz Gross. In 1944, when she was just 15, Ellie, her mother, and her brother were sent to Auschwitz, which was a concentration camp during the Holocaust. Through a series of miracles, as she calls it, Ellie survived, but tragically, her mother and brother did not. In the memoir, Ellie shares her experiences during the year before the Allied forces came to liberate them. We are lucky enough to have the opportunity to talk with Ellie. She's here with us today. Hi, Mrs. Gross. It's such an honor to meet you. Please call me Ellie, and I'm very happy to meet you guys. Yes, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Uh, very, very welcome, and I feel that uh, it's, I'm, my obligation, if I remember, but the history I should share with you children. Is it okay if we ask you a few questions? Please go ahead. We know this must have been a difficult time for you, but could you please share what helped you get through your days at the camp? When I was in the camps, I always was dreaming and visualizing when I'm going to go home to my parents. I couldn't believe it was going on. I was thinking that's just a bad dream and I will wake up at home and go back to school. If I would know exactly that happening, everything, I don't think I would have survived. I always thought that just a bad dream. That must have been extremely difficult. What do you remember about the liberation? The, we were liberated April 14, 1945 by American army and allies, and they took us to the Zalfriden Armory. And uh, soon I was shipped out to Hillesleben to get medical treatment. I remember the liberation. I could visual with a large tank. A lot of soldiers rode in and Zalfriden through the gate. And in the middle was sitting an African-American and his white teeth was striking like uh, the, the, the snow and the sunshine. So Ellie, when and why did you decide to share your story? As soon as I learned English, I felt obligation that I should try to write and share my stories. Eventually, in the beginning, I was talking in schools about 30 years. And uh, I thought that if I share my story with the children, Maybe they be better students or better child at home. They learn that not everything, but they wish they could have it. And they learn that sometimes in life, tragedy occurs. Yes, that's a very good point. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, what would you say is the most important lesson that you'd like readers to take away from this book? Hatred, prejudice, create destruction. At the end, there are no winners. That's the most important part of their life. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Ellie. You're absolutely right. Uh, thank you so much. And that's the most important. That is true. Ellie, thank you so much for sharing your true story with us. I'm very, very welcome. And I'm happy that you are here and eventually help the teachers and students alike my testimony. Yes, I'm, I'm sure they will. Bye, everybody. Bye, Ellie. Bye, Ellie. Bye, Ellie. I'm so glad we had the opportunity to speak with Ellie. I feel like I learned a lot. Absolutely. We hope that you read Ellie, My True Story of the Holocaust, and that it inspires you to learn more about history. And consider doing some research on Ellie and other people impacted by these events. We'd love to hear what stories you discover. See you next week. 
I'm a book boy, I'm a, I'm a book boy. Oh yeah, we love to read.